Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a little short Blu-ray trip on a Saturday morning, yeah. It's pretty nippy out, I didn't bring my scarf though. Uh, but I need to pop to Poundland, pop to Poundland, uh, to grab some more bubble wrap. Uh, I figured, as there's two Poundlands in my town centre, literally half a mile apart, we'll go and check out both Poundlands. Have a look, see if they've got any new Blu-rays in stock. You never know. Yes, so that's it today. Just two trips to Poundland uh, and then straight home. So let's go to the town and uh, hit the first Poundland. <clears throat> So one good thing about being in tier four, it makes it a lot easier to park in the town considering that all the shops are closed. Yes, there's no faffing about with the car park. So uh, yes, we've arrived safely. So let's pop off to Poundland and have a look, see if they've got any new Blu-rays and pick up some bubble wrap. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we got. We got some usual Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. We got some uh, Jack Ryan there, Shadow Recruit with Chris Pine. Uh, a lot of repeating stuff again. Uh, we have Skyfall, which seems to be cropping up quite a few places. Oh no, Fifty Shades, put that back. Uh, Elysium there with a slip. Uh, Jack Reacher. Uh, Sing It, I think that's a game. We have some Madagascar, Escape to Africa. Down here we have uh, some X-Men uh, Wolverine. There are lots of those 89s that seem to be uh, cropping up everywhere. And Unchained uh, with a slip there. The Take. Uh, Ocean's 13. Nothing of really real interest. Certainly no new releases. We have The Host there. Um, some uh, Resident Evil, Dragon Tattoo. Uh, what's the one at the back there? That's the third mummy one. Gravity, uh, again, it's been cropping up loads of places. American Hustle has been in more places than I can think of. Men in Black 3 in 3D, now you see me. Uh, some Pirates of the Caribbean. A bit of Wesley Snipes there. Quantum of Solace, with the worst of the Daniel Craig Bonds. Hangover and some Taken, so yeah, not a lot in here. But I do need to pick up some bubble wrap, so uh, one, two, I'll pick up a couple, I think, probably about five. Well, this is not looking good. Look, one row of Blu-rays. That's it. And with a gap. Oh, dear. Um, I don't know what's happened to all the Blu-rays that were in here, but um, it's not really interesting. We've got the host here. Uh, Arthur. The commuter, which has been in quite a few places. Lots of those Charlie Countrymans with Shia LaBeouf um, locked up. But that's it. So far as the DVDs are concerned, Christmas Mingle, there's hardly any DVDs. There's usually tons of DVDs in a Poundland, so unless someone snapped them up, uh, maybe they didn't want to watch anything on the streaming. And then we have the CDs down here. That's literally it. Look at that. That is a pathetic excuse. Yes, baby. Not a sponsor. Although they probably need it at the moment. Three pip. Three. I, can't, I can never do that. I always get the wrong figures. Three people behind the counter in Costa at the moment, twiddling their thumbs, looking like dumb asses. Uh, I think they were happy that I actually turned up and bought something. 
And normally for a Saturday morning, they'd be like heaving, you know, people would be sitting in there chatting about Christmas and the New Year's. But I got my gingerbread cream latte. It's quite chilly out as well, so I needed something warm inside me. <laughs> uh, I also decided to get myself something that's really simple, because, you know, simple food for simple man. I got myself just a, a sausage bap. Look at the steam coming off of that. She asked me if I wanted any sauce. I said, no, just give it to me straight up. Ooh, her missus. Mm. There are some things in life you don't need to decorate it with crap. Mm. A sausage bat, a bacon sandwich with a bit of brown sauce. You don't need no bells and whistles. Very nice. So I'm going to munch this down and drink my coffee and then we'll have a little chat about what was in Poundland or rather what wasn't in Poundland and a rather interesting conversation that I overheard in Poundland that I want to touch upon like that. Yeah. See you in a minute. I'm just going to scoff my sausage down. I can't remember when the last time Claire said that. God blimey, ain't you finished that coffee yet? I know you, I can hear you. <clears throat> that was a really nice pork sausage bap, that was. Really nice, that was. Just hit the spot just right. Oh, it's a bit of a shell. Poor Dover. Saturday morning in January, after Christmas, in the January sales. Wandering through Dover Town Centre. A mere handful of people out and about visiting Boots and Superdrug and places like that. On a Saturday morning, people should be going in and out and in and out shops. Yes, it's very sad. Um, on the way down to St James, down to the other Poundland, you saw in the little video clip there, oh, Cine World, just laying dormant, nobody loving it. Um, I can't believe that we just cannot go to the cinema. I know there's no films, there's no films out, so... But when you think about it, of all the places that people have got infected, I read that there's not one uh, confirmed positive case of the, the virus being contracted in a cinema anywhere in the world. So when you talk about people going to parties, people going in supermarkets, bumping into each other in supermarkets... There's no safer place to be than in a cinema. And they were brilliant when they were open, doing the social distancing, doing the hand washing. I never felt threatened in Cineworld uh, or even View. Everything was... People were spaced out further than two metres and they staggered it behind. So you weren't sitting exactly behind or in front of someone else. So, yeah, um, really good thing with the cinemas. They... They knew what they were doing. Uh, unfortunately, they're the ones that are suffering. But uh, hopefully once we get this uh, vaccine out, or vaccines now, because we have two, um, I know it's not going to happen any time in the next couple of months. You know, people are talking about, oh, we're going to have a pretty, pretty normal Easter. I really can't see us maybe having that much of a... that different Easter because it's going to take time to get the vaccines out they really need to speed it up as much as they can um you know they're talking about vaccinating two million people a week I think they should work 24 hours a day but then again it's the staffing problem you know so I think they can only get out as much as they can and also the production as well you know we can only have what the production gives out but a conversation that i overheard in uh poundland and normally i wouldn't talk about this on a blu-ray video but it kind of really annoyed me um i was just walking through there was a bunch of like four or five people just chatting probably friends catching up and i, I overheard one of the women saying oh i've had my flu jab uh, and then I was walking past a little bit further to the Blu-rays. Uh, I overheard them saying, uh, we've both had our uh, COVID notices or our COVID letters. Uh, but, and then, but we're not having them, though. 
And the other woman was, why aren't you having them? No, I, we don't want them. <sighs> okay, um, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, yes, we don't know the long term effects of the vaccine. Nobody does. You know, it's not like you're going to know what's going to happen in 10 years where we'll all be walking around with mutated heads. But the thing is, you know, it's been tried, it's been tested. Um, they've tried it on thousands and thousands of people. Um, they wouldn't get it out there. They wouldn't release it, you know, to the population and classify it. And, you know, uh, the federal medical examiners or whatever, you know, it has to it has to pass before getting out there they they wouldn't give that to the population if they didn't think that it wasn't going to work uh we'll soon find out when that little old lady <laughs> grows two heads <laughs> but yeah the thing that really annoyed me is that this virus is not going to go away if we don't vaccinate it's just going to mutate and it's going to mutate and it's going to mutate it's going to be mutate so badly that you're not even going to be able to breathe and you'd probably just drop dead out of the street. You don't know. You don't know how this thing would mutate. It could decimate the entire planet, you know, within a couple of years. If no one gets vaccinated, it's not going away. It's going to be here. So if you do get a letter through, uh, I know I'm sounding a lot like the <laughs> government officials now, but if you get a letter through um, and you don't have health problems that means you can't have the vaccine, please have the vaccine. We need to get back to normal. People need to be protected. Um, I'm As soon as I get my letter through, I am down there. I'm down there. I'm going to have a jab on the arm. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Uh, I'm really, I, I'm looking forward to having my vaccine. I actually am. And my dad, um, because it means that we're on the way to normality. Not that I've ever been normal, but um it's something that we need to do. So if you get a letter through, please have the vaccine. Don't be like one of these people that are like, oh, no, it's too dead. It's too dangerous. We don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. You could be walking down the road and get hit by a bus. Who knows? But they'll still put it down as that you had the vaccine. You had COVID though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that annoyed me a little bit, you know, because I've heard rumblings of people saying, oh, I'm not going to take the vaccine. Uh, and the government are trying to save people's lives. You know, not just the government, the health people. And, you know, we just need protecting. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I will be taking my vaccine. Uh, of course, a couple of weeks later, I'll let you know how many fingers I've got. <laughs> but, yeah. But anyway, uh, down to the nitty gritty of what they had in stock. Poundland in the town, the first one we went to, just had the usual stuff. They had a few of the ones that I'd seen in there a couple of weeks ago. They haven't had no new delivery. Not like old Jamie Powell had in his, you know, uh, um, Captain America Civil War and, and the Winter Soldier 3D and stuff like that. But uh, maybe we just haven't had anything down here. Um, what was worse was Poundland number two down St. James. Because their, it's like their shelves were completely stripped. They had a very small bundle of Blu-rays about that long. And even worse on the DVDs. Poundland, they usually have crap loads of DVDs in. But there was hardly any DVDs in that Poundland at all. So whether they're just phasing everything out. I think what it is, maybe a lot of people have actually bought DVDs from Poundland. Because if you get a lot of lower paid people or people that haven't got jobs or just want a quick fix you know rather than paying like 7.99 to 11.99 a month for amazon you know a lot of people can't afford that they just go to poundland and buy a one pound a one pound dvd and, and they're sorted so maybe it's you know maybe over the com over the last couple of weeks or months that it's just dwindled down because you know people have gone in there looking for a bit of entertainment uh, and they don't want to pay for streaming. I could be wrong, but that's just my thinking. But uh, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, not very good with Poundland today. But I got out, I got a bit of exercise. I got myself a sausage bat and a lovely uh, gingerbread cream latte. So I'm happy. So 
I think that's it for today. I've I've had my rant about the old vaccine. <laughs> Excuse me, that's the sausage coming back. So now I'm going to go home in the warm when my dad's there. Um, he's going to do dinner in a little while. Not not sure what I'm having. It's going to be interesting. Um, and then I'll watch a couple of films this afternoon. I'll do my Blu-ray monthly haul for December. Um, maybe do a flick bin tomorrow. I don't know. Or a Powerland bin. I don't know. Uh, I won't be doing a live stream on Sunday. Because uh, I did one on New Year's Day. So Sunday's going to be my day of rest to watch movies and maybe do a do a video or two. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and a little rant. It's already gone on, gone on far too long. Uh, so far as Blu-ray hunting is concerned, at least for January, I don't think there's going to be that much. Um, what I'll do, because we're in tier four, so it's a stay at home order, you know, we're only going to essentials to the supermarkets and Poundland and things like that. Uh, the days, the Mondays that I do have off, I'll probably just pop to Tesco's when I have to pick up some bits and pieces for the house uh, and for food and have a look at the Blu-rays like I did uh, the last Monday. Uh, but I won't be probably guaranteeing it every Monday because normally what would happen... Um, I would take half days off at work and use some of my holiday up so that at least we can have a Blu-ray hunting Monday every week, guaranteed. But because all the shops like CEX and HMV are closed, it's pointless me taking any holiday. So I'll save a bit of holiday and hopefully when we get a little bit further along, maybe February or March, when the weather's nicer, it's warmer, maybe we're over the worst of this current period we are with the, with the, uh, the virus. Uh, and we can all get out there to HMV and, and, and CEX. We'll make some long days of it as well. Yeah, so... Um, and there'll be more releases out as well. One thing that I did notice uh, this morning, which I've posted on my Facebook page, Big Paul is chatting movies. If you're not a member, why not? <laughs> um, now, I haven't seen Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Womble. I haven't seen Wonder Woman 84 yet. Um, there was various opportunities to get it, maybe on streaming, you know, uh, on various websites. But I wanted it, I wanted it like 4K Dolby, uh, Dolby Vision, well, Dolby Atmos, um, properly scaled on my big 4K TV rather than watching it on a phone or an iPad. Um, so I'm going to be renting it when it comes out in a couple of weeks time, through, I think probably through Amazon Prime. Uh, the main thing is that I noticed someone posted that the 4K is already up for pre-order on Amazon India's... I didn't even know India had an Amazon website. Yeah, Amazon India website. Um, and it includes the 4K and the 3D. So there's going to be a 3D of Wonder Woman 84. So that might be potentially good news for us in the UK. I would imagine that the pre-order would go up here in the UK when the official stream happens in the middle of January. Uh, whether HMV get it or Zavi get it. Probably uh, DC, is it? Who gets normally DC? I think it might be HMV because Zavi get Marvel, don't they? I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so there is potential that we can get a 3D. So that would be good. But uh, yeah, I think I've rabbited along uh, enough as it is. So I'm going to just swab the rest of my drink down and uh, pop off home. But I hope everybody's having fun and um, making the most of, you know, staying in and um, missing the cinemas and missing HMV and missing CE. It's just not fun, but we have to do what we have to do at the moment. But anyway, until the next video, cheerio, my lovely little minions. <laughs> That makes me grew. <laughs>